What is going on guys, it's Eric here from NicheScraper.com and welcome to part one of our Niche Scraper introductory series where I just go through and walk you through the different uh, functionality and features of our service to better help you find winning products for your store, uh, whether it's Shopify, WooCommerce, Ali, uh, Ali Dropship, uh, Amazon, eBay, you know, what have you. Um, it's helpful for all those. So I'll be splitting up this video into three different parts um, because there are three different aspects to our store. Um, one is the homepage, which has our you know web crawling technology, where you can search for different Shopify uh, stores and products. The second is our handpicked products, and our third is the Facebook ad generator. And I'll make a separate video for each of these. Um, and keep in mind that this video is simply to kind of walk you through the different uh, features of the tool. And in later videos, I will actually go through and give you strategies to find winning products um, to succeed in your own store. So let's just kind of jump right into this here. So if you go to the homepage. Uh, what you'll first see is that we offer a huge list of um, the most popular Shopify stores and we show their you know, top four best selling products from each one. Um, so you can scroll through here and see you know, every single Shopify store ranked by their Alexa rank. The Alexa rank is essentially the, uh, the store's popularity um, and it's a general number that e each website on the internet is given to kind of rank their popularity against other ones. So um, number one is colorpop.com with a Alexa rank of 4,000 which is crazy considering there's you know, billions of other websites out there. So that's one thing you can do here and just go through page after page, um, a different uh, you know, top selling Shopify stores. Um, next thing you can do is you can click on these products to go straight to the product page um, in case you wanna check out what the store looks like, you know, kind of what they're doing with their descriptions, things like that. Um, you can hover over it and see more information like when the product was first added to the store. So this one's added in 2017. Uh, you can see the product price. Um, you can click on traffic and revenue here. And it'll show you more information about this website. So in case you have a certain uh, URL you want to spy on, uh, you can see you know what their estimated monthly traffic is, uh, their estimated monthly orders, their revenue, things like that. Uh, bear in mind, this is only an estimate. Um, it's impossible to get the exact numbers without you know, you know hacking their Shopify account or something like that. So. This is a close round number, um, rough number to what they actually do. Um, and when you go into the traffic revenue estimation area, you can also see more of the best selling products uh, to analyze. So that's another feature. If you go back to home, <clears throat> we also have these different filters here and I'll explain what these do. So business type, um, you can hover over the eye and I'll give you more information, but essentially you can either show all stores or ones that we are uh, sure are drop shipping. Um, this does not necessarily mean they're drop shipping from AliExpress. You know, they could be, um, but they are drop shipping, and this is probably more helpful for you because you know, if you're drop shipping, you want to see other products are that are being drop shipped. Um, for example, furniture is not something that's easily drop shipped, um, even though people do do it. Um, so you may want to see you know smaller items that you know are imported from China, things like that. And this filter will kind of help you know show those type of businesses. Uh, you can set the max bestseller price. So it only show you products that uh, maybe are under a certain price range, like 30 bucks, um, in case you have like you know a cheaper store or maybe one that you know it sells more high-end objects. So you can go to $300. Um, so you can change those filters here. Um, for me, I'll just do no filter. Um, we'll keep this with verified dropshipping. Um, the next thing you'll notice is that there's a search bar here. So if you have a certain competitor in your niche and you want to see what their best-selling products are so you can compete with them or you know just kind of spy on them a little bit, uh, just type in their URL here or their store name. So I know bluecrete.com is a popular dropshipping store. So let's click search and it's going to show you more information about the store. So their Alexa rank is you know around 22,000. 20, um, they're getting almost a million uh, hits a month in traffic. I can see their best-selling products. So you know if I was directly competing with the store, I can go through and try to like, you know, beat their prices on certain products, you know, if I have similar products or, you know, if there's one on here that I see is like really cool that I'm not selling, I can easily go through and, um, you know, try it out myself and sell on my own store. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is there's an AliExpress button right at the top of each of these images. Um, and this is going to try to help you find that product on AliExpress. Bear in mind, not every single Shopify store drops it from AliExpress. You may not find it like this one here. Um, but if you were straight in AliExpress, it'll open up two tabs. One searches Google, one searches AliExpress. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of results here. So we can easily use overloads, import this to our own store, and start selling it straight away. 
Um, so that's super handy here. Um, so that's all you need to know for that uh, page. Uh, another thing you can do is actually, instead of searching by URL or store name, and this is kind of a secret feature, so if you're watching this video, you kind of get an upper hand on everyone else here. Um, you can see you type in kind of keywords. Um, so say you're in the gadget niche and you want to see only Shopify stores that um, are related to gadgets. So you can check out your competition. Just type in gadget. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you all Shopify stores um, and their best sellers um, whose URL contains that keyword. So gadget has to be in the URL. Um, but you'll notice there are some that doesn't have, don't have gadget like this one. And the reason being is if you type in this um, this name into Google, was it trending VIP? I think they will have gadget in the description. So it searches from their um, their URL or their, their description to kind of choose which ones to show here. So keep that in mind when you're searching. So if you don't see one that you like, you can kind of switch it up a little bit. But that is all there is. All you need to know for that page. Um, Next up is the Shopify product search, which I think is the most useful thing. Um, it's extremely powerful. So <clears throat> we have more filters, and I'll go through and explain what each one does. So we already talked about um, this one. This is the business type, so you can choose all stores or drop shipping. Uh, we'll choose drop shipping here. We talked about this one, the max product price. So only show me products that are under you know 100 bucks or something like that, 100, 300 bucks. Um, this one is super important, so pay close attention here. Um, it's probably the most uh, important feature on this whole site is the product added tool. So you can uh, narrow it down and show only products that have been added to the store within the past two weeks. Uh, so I think it's pretty obvious why that's useful um, because it'll show you literally products that are you know hot right now that are currently selling. That way you can hop on the trend and sell them yourself. Um, you know if you see a, a best selling item that's been added two years ago. You know, you still may be able to get away with selling it, and there's a lot of websites that you know sell products that have, you know, faded away and you know made them do really well. Um, but your best bet is to try to find you know recently trending products to sell. So we can narrow it down by you know the date added here. So uh, going on to the next one, we have relevance and store popularity. Are these are options you can sort by? So we want to sort by store popularity. Um, if you leave this blank, it's going to show you results that only match these filters here. So click search, and you will see all the products uh, that are verified dropshipping under $300, added less than two weeks ago, sorted by store popularity. And store popularity is you know this Alexa rank right here. So we see a bunch of great products. Um, you know this one was added six hours ago, and it's already doing well. So you know this might be a good one to try out for yourself. Um, you know, and because it was added six hours hours ago, you have a lot less competition than something than something that's been added you new know, a year ago. So you know, go through and just try out a bunch of these different products uh, for yourself and see what's selling well. Um, yeah, so if you are maybe in a certain niche already, maybe you already have a you know, store set up and you want certain products. Um, maybe you're in the dog niche. So type in dog here, and it's going to show you. Um, all products with dog in the title so you know if you don't get the results you want keep playing with this um, but keep in mind that it's showing you results with dog in the title so scrolling through you know this product was added product was added one week ago um, you probably click on this and find it on AliExpress yep right there selling for like you know eight bucks and they're selling it for like 24 bucks so you can make a nice profit on that um, you just scroll through, get an idea for some products, uh, and because these are, you know, recently added and they're doing well, there's no, no reason why they can't, you know, sell well for you. So it's a great way to get, you know, a quick buck or two just by going through here. Um, we can also check out other keywords, you know, like uh, if you want to get more specific, maybe like leggings. So we'll search through here. And it'll show you a bunch of different leggings that are trending well in these different stores. Um, we can kind of relieve some of the if you don't get as many uh, results as you want, we can release some of these filters a little bit. And you'll probably get some more. So we get a bunch more if we do that. Um, so if you're selling leggings and you see these, like, hey, maybe I'm not selling this um, this Flamingo leggings and it's doing well for them, so maybe I can try it myself. So, you know, so a lot of great strategies here, but um, that's essentially all the features I want to discuss here today. 
Um, actually, there's one more. So, copy product, and I'll make another video on this. Uh, it's a feature that literally takes this product and adds it straight to your store. So it, it'll copy all the images from this website, fashionnova.com. Um, copy the images, get copy the description, push it to your store, um, and then you can edit however you want. Um, you know, it doesn't automatically uh, fulfill it, so you'll need to still use Oberlo or whatever your fulfillment service is, but it just saves you some time from going to another store and like you know copying the description. So you don't need to use it, but it can be helpful sometimes. Um, so that's all you need to know, and I will make some more videos um, showing you some strategies to find winning products once you kind of learn how to use this, because you know there's a lot of different filters here, so just play around. Um, I mean, it's it's extremely powerful, right? I mean, there's thousands and thousands of results here, and no one person is going to see you know, the same exact results every single time, because it's always changing. So you know, you never have to run into a problem where you're getting like too saturated with a product. Um, you can do all the research yourself, so you can you know keep on building your own store, keep on building your brand, um, keep on finding new products, right? So. Um, next video, I will talk about the handpicked products and the Facebook ad generator, so follow along there.